So in the videos, we got a lot of comments. Guys that were concerned that if we were using a freeze plug like this on this Cummins block that will not blow out, what in the world are we going to do if the block should freeze? Well, a couple of things about that. First off, if your coolant level is not mixed properly, there are a lot of things that are going to cause problems way in advance. Now, on big trucks, we see this all the time, which also brings up another point. Somebody mentioned uh, cavitation as being a problem. On a big truck, it is absolutely ma mandatory your SEA levels are kept at the right rate because if not, you'll start seeing more cavitation on cylinder walls, uh, the liners particularly, lower counter bores, upper counter bores, uh, the water entry areas, different things like that will uh, begin to erode. It's not as problematic with something that is a uh, dry sleeve block like what we're looking at here instead of a wet liner that's removable. But if you have the wrong concentricity of coolant in your system, it's going to cause failure to the water pump because it's also a lubricant as well as just cooling. So there are parts in the coolant system that are mandatory that they have the proper concentricity, proper lubrication to keep these systems working. The other thing is, is that if you're running any kind of water mix that has oxygen in it, I would suggest running a distilled water so that it does not run if you're going to mix coolant and water together. It's a much better option. If you start running into the water that will cause things to rust, then you're going to cause all types of issues in blocks that we see every day. We can tell if a guy had a head gasket leak on a truck that kept pouring water in because what will wind up happening is you will rust the block and your oil coolers will stop up. You'll have a lot of different problems with heat dissipation from the cylinder walls because now we have scaling. You'll have the areas of the water jackets that will erode, that's going to create a whole another issue. So it's just a terrible, terrible idea. If that's the case, then yeah, you might wind up freezing a block. But you should never be in this danger zone anyways. So if you are, then you've got bigger problems. And it doesn't matter if it's freezing or not. You're literally rusting the block out from the inside out.